Hi everyone, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be telling you all about rhythm. First thing I should probably say is when writing music down, we write on what is called a stave. A stave is made up of five lines and we use these lines to determine what note to sing or play. The first note I'm going to show you is called a semibrieve. Now, a semibrieve is made up of four beats, which means every time I see one of these in a piece of music, it means I'm going to count four beats. This next note is a minim, and it's made up of two beats, so it's slightly shorter than a semibrieve. Next, we have a crotchet, which is worth just one beat and looks like this. It's kind of like a minim, but with it coloured in. Now, we can get even faster with our rhythm by writing a quaver, which looks just like a crotchet, but with a little tail on the bottom. This note is worth half a beat. A good way to remember the difference between a quaver and a crotchet is by using the words coffee and tea. Coffee sounds like a quaver and tea is like a crotchet. So if I were to say coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, it would look like this. So that's all you need to know at the moment about writing down notes and how long they last. But before we go, I'm going to say a little bit about rests and why they're important as well. If you've ever listened to a piece of music or been to a concert, you probably noticed that not all the instruments or singers play or sing all the time. That's because in the music they have what is called a rest, which means they don't need to play at that time. They can be big rests or lots of little small rests that break up the music. These rests need to be marked in the score just like musical notes do. This is a crotchet rest and it's worth one beat. If you look at this piece of music next to me, we'll have a go at clapping together. Here's another piece of music and I want you to have a go and see if you can clap it along with everyone else. The rhythm should have sounded like this. Thank you for listening everyone. I hope you've all learned a little bit more about rhythm today and are able to use it when you're making your very own music. Bye!